All right, well, you may recognize my voice from a different YouTube channel. From a different YouTube channel, if you can't hear it, you can't. 712-5 Overgrown Channel. I'm discontinuing it. I am no longer doing those videos on it. And this is going to be my new one. It's called Lucy's Reptiles, which I've actually named after my own daughter. So now I'm going to take you through all the reptiles I have, what I do, what I don't do, what people think. You know, it's just all up to you if I'm doing it right or not, which, I mean, I would like the opinions, you know. So we're going to start off over here at the, with the rodent rack. Up here I got one male to one female rat. Down here, excuse me. And then down here I just have one female albino rat. Nothing too big. And then down here, I actually have, uh, that's my daughter. I have one male to two females. Both these females look like they're ready to pop any day now, if today. And then down here, I got one male to three females, mice. And that's about it for the rodent rat. And... I use pine bedding for my rodents. I haven't had a problem using pine bedding. Most people say pine bedding is bad for them, but honestly, none of them have an upper respiratory infection, so they seem to be doing just fine. And moving on down here, we got the snakes. If I can just find this little guy. He is my normal striped. He is a male. Put him back. And down here, I have, if I can find her. Here she is. She is a charcoal. She is female. And moving on from there. down to here. No, don't. No. This is my male motley corn snake. Oh. Here. Ah. And then moving on from that. If I can find him. Here. He is. This is my Mel Annery, but she's going in the shed right now. His eyes are glazed over. Then this is my big female blooded albino het motley. Hence the circles. But she's all right. And here's my big male, if I can get him out. He is my Aztec. He's such a sweetheart. I mean, most snakes, what snake are you going to be able to, you know, pet the top of his head? And then moving on from there, got my leopard geckos. And this guy down here, oh, you won't let me handle him, but that's my Tremper albino male. And then that's just a normal female, which I hope to be breeding those two here pretty soon. And then my daughter will be stuff alone. Nope. And these are, this is a female which was from my big male and my big female corn snakes. That's a female hatchling from them of this year. And that one that's hiding in there, that's the other female. All three normals. Leave it so I got out of that clutch. I didn't get a very big clutch. But that's alright. 
Here's another normal male. They're all het for mott wheat, obviously, because you can tell. But these are my male. I got two males and two females. And then I'll grab this guy out of here if I can find him. He is in a male, het mott wheat. From, he is a sibling to those three that are over there. Close that. Moving on to over here. Just let me get those out of the way. This is a little bit. Let's go. These are my crested geckos. If I can. Him. This is my male. He is a pinstripe. And then if I can find my female, but she is back here. She is just a normal possible pinstripe, only I say that because of the tail. Now we're going to go over here. And then this is my frog, obviously amphibian. He is a pixie frog, gender unknown. I'm not too big into the whole amphibian thing, but, you know, I got him for free from my friends, so I was like, hey, why the hell not? We're moving back to and this empty big tank right here. I mean, yeah, a lot of people, they're all like... A lot of people, they're all into like bearded dragons and leopard gecko stuff. I mean, yeah, so am I, but this right here is going to be going for a Chinese water dragon. I want to get into those. I don't see a whole lot of them on YouTube as it is, so, you know, instead of bearded dragon like I wanted, I decided to go ahead and Chinese water dragon, so post a video on the water dragon once once I get that. I'm moving over here. This is what I do. I got a ton of beetles in here and stuff like that. Just to make it a little cheaper. I actually you know do breed mealworms. I mean, it's a hell of a lot cheaper than continuously going out just to go buy mealworms for, you know, your life for geckos, whatever, you know, you feed mealworms to. And then in here, I started to breed crickets, which, I mean, I know, yeah, I'm going to get a lot of hate. They're, you guys are just going to hate saying that, well, that's no way how you're going to breed crickets. I mean, dude, we all got to start. We all got to start somewhere. I mean, that's pretty much it. So, rate, comment, subscribe. I'm out.